today I'm inspecting a brand new brand of RV 2024 it's June 9th 2023 and I found some things that you're not gonna believe stay tuned Everybody, it's Jason again with MyRVResource.com. It's like the yellow pages for RV services. Today, coming at you with another weekly one reason to get an RV inspection. So that dealership told you that brand new RV, you don't need an inspection. They inspect it and uh, they're going to tell you what's wrong. Let's just go look at what we're looking at right now. So as you can see, model year. It's 2024. Today is June 9th, 2023. This RV was built in May of this year, 2023. Right there, you see it. Customer's been waiting two weeks for me to get out here and do this inspection. Why are they waiting? We're the only master certified inspectors in the state of Florida. But this RV is ready for delivery, folks. Ready for delivery. That means they've done their PDI um, and they've not found everything, obviously. So let's just take a look at one, two, few things. How about that? So first off, this is a brand new manufacturer, like I said. And we're gonna look in this propane cargo bay. And you'll notice this little regulator. This regulator goes between this tank and the tank on the other side, and then it hits the two-stage regulator. Well, this regulator is supposed to be mounted, folks. This thing could be hitting the motor for the landing gear on this fifth wheel. It could be clanging against the tank, metal on metal. Could cause sparks. Not a good combination if you got a propane leak. So, that's number one. It's supposed to be mounted. That's a life safety issue not found by the dealership manufacturer built it that way can't make this stuff up folks just can't now let's take a look in the at the water panel the exterior water panel in this exterior water panel you have city water connection typically you use a blue or a white hose that is for potable water in this rv though manufacturer decided let's use a black one take a look right there's your city water connection and it has this retractable hose on it right but it's black it's not potable it's really flimsy kinks easy that's not gonna make for a good experience let's look at something else this entire RV none of the trim none of the cutouts have any sealant around them at all What's the number one killer of an RV? Water intrusion. Let's take a look at some of the areas. Now, you can see, this is the trim, and it's got a pretty good gap in here, no sealant. And it gets closer to the wall up here. Now there is a butyl tape type stuff behind there, but you want protection. Let's take a look at another gap, right there. Look at that big old gap. These are areas where water can get in. This is the entire RV. Right here, you can see a screw going through the wall inside of that. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit. It doesn't show up very well. But that's the screw. The place where water can get in. This is a brand new RV, folks. Built last month. Not even a month ago, this was built been through the manufacturer's PDI if they do one it's been through the dealer's PDI and here I am finding these issues on a RV that's only 34 foot fifth wheel with an MSRP of over a hundred thousand dollars I don't know what to say folks 
there's lots more that I've found wrong with this and there'll probably be lots more when I get to the inside but this is what we do for you we inspect we tell you what's wrong either negotiate get it fixed or you walk away so with your weekly one reason to get an RV inspection I'm Jason and you have a nice day